a good look, my friend. That, wow, look at you. Please wear that at all times. Uh -huh. Do you like a slow turn? Look it, look it. Welcome to another reading vlog. Today is April 15th, so it's Monday. I have pretty much nothing going on this entire week. This weekend is Easter, so I'll have like family stuff then. But for the first couple of days, nothing. So we back with a reading vlog because we'll actually get a lot of reading done. So reading update for the week. The first book that I'm hoping to finish this week is called All We Could Have Been by T. Carter. This is a review copy for Macmillan that I got. I'm not 100% sure the actual publication date, but sometime in April, so I gotta get this done and reviewed. I'm about 50% into it. I think I'm like exactly 50% in, but it's really good so far. It's about a girl named Lexi whose brother committed a very violent crime five years ago, and it's basically her story trying to recover from it still. She constantly moves schools when people find out who her brother is because she doesn't want to be associated with him, so she likes to start over. So far, it's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. It's taking me a really long time to read it, though, because I've mostly just been listening to audiobooks, to be honest, because they keep coming in at the library at the exact same time, so I'm, like, trying to go through them all before I have to return them. The one that I'm currently listening to is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nagan, and I am obsessed with this so far. I'm, again, I think about 50% into it, but I'm loving it. It's about this kingdom who has eight paper girls who basically serve the king any way that he wants, which is usually, you know, sexy, sexy times. There's usually eight paper girls, but this year there are nine. One that is very feisty and doesn't really conform to how she's supposed to and it's basically that story but it's also a female female romance which I am just getting to now and like I'm like totally here for it and I'm loving this so much so I've heard a lot of like mixed reviews about this book a lot of people really like it but then a lot of people don't really like it so I'm definitely on the really liking it side so far I'm probably gonna finish this within the next two days honestly because I can't stop listening to it because I want to know what's happening. But yeah, that's my reading update for today. I'm doing a couple of errands with my mom and then probably just gonna go see Ricardo. I don't know though. We'll see where the day takes us, but there will definitely be some car content for y'all because I know you guys like that a lot. Hello. It's we've been, again. uh, we've been out and about all day and your girl forgot to vlog. So what did we do today, mommy? We dropped Curtis off to work. Yes. We bought you three new dresses because you cleaned out your closet. Yes, I now own four dresses. <laughs> That's not true. Now you own about seven. And now we're going to go. And I'm going to go lie in my bed some more. <sighs> Why are you heavy sighing? I was just breathing loudly. I just like my you bed. You are not going to lie in your bed. You are going to make cookies. I know them. I will. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Sucks. Flat tire. Shock, shock, shock. Yeah. Just want everyone to know that bad things happen to good people. Do you see this? Do you see this? Do they not just see your hand? No, because my hand is over here. Now they see my hand. Oh. Now they don't see my hand. Look at this! Oh. I'm a very sad bean. I was putting away groceries like the good housewife I am, and it just snapped off! Everybody, crisis averted. Again, we're Step good. Two. Step two, you know, this one was on Saturday. This one on Monday. Jimmy, my nail guy, is going away to Jamaica, so I'm not allowed to break anymore until he's back after Easter. He's going away for 10 days. I know, I have 10 that's days. Not, that's not after Easter. That's like he's after, leaving. He's that's leaving after. Good Friday. I have to make it Good Friday to ten days after, whenever that is, because I don't do math. But when he comes back, you're gonna be camped out at the door. Yeah, I'm gonna be like Jimmy. Let me in, Jimmy. Yeah. Ugh, we love Jimmy. Great guy. Swan, 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 swan. Do you like my massage? Great Swan. 
you really massage me now? You massage me? No. Fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm massaging. <laughs> That's tickling, not I'm massaging. <laughs> It's now Tuesday around like 1130 in the morning. My mom left for physio so I've just been filming videos. I only filmed a haul video so far because then Ricardo called me and I've been talking to him for the past hour. So I'm really good at staying on task. And then I have to film an unboxing because if you can see right, right th there. There's like a whole bunch of packages that I haven't opened yet. So I have to do that. And then I have another haul video I have to do and then I will get to read, but by then my mom's probably going to be home, so realistically, no reading's going to be done because I'm going to go hang out with her because I love my mama, you know? But I don't think we have any errands or anything to do today, so I don't know, maybe reading will be done. There's literally nothing going on today. Ricardo's working until 9 tonight, and then I'm probably going to go see him. We filmed a video yesterday together, so that'll be up eventually once I edit it. It's like the booktube boyfriend tag. I don't think it's like super funny because he's just like super awkward on camera. He doesn't really know how to act, which I think is funny. He just like clams up because he's like super weird usually, but as soon as the camera turns on, he's like, Hi, I'm Ricardo. We'll see how it turns out once I edit it and then I'll decide if I'm gonna upload it or not, but stay tuned maybe for that. Yeah, I'm gonna go film more videos and await my mother returning. Oh, I should probably do a reading update. What am I doing? This is a reading vlog. Okay, so for All We Could Have Been by T. Carter, I have not read any more of it from yesterday. I might have read one more chapter. Nope, I'm on the same page, 155 still. We're, we're not making any progress on this one because I've been listening to Girls of Paper and Fire because I can't get enough of it. I'm now page 275 of it. There's like 400 pages, I think, but I'm obsessed with this story. It's probably gonna be a five out of five for me. I just am loving the female-female romance and I'm loving the like, rebellion that's starting. I'm just here for this book. I really enjoy it, so I'm excited to finish it. Hopefully tonight. You see how close I am? So filming videos and then reading this. I don't care. It's happening. And maybe. We'll see. <laughs> so I just finished Girls with Paper and Fire. I'm giving it five out of five stars. But that epilogue, I'm so mad. It's fine though. You just need the second book now, but um, highly recommend y'all check out this book because it's hella good and I'm obsessed with it and it's my new baby and um, I'll be screaming about it on Twitter, so yeah. Hello everybody. I would like you all to know, mom's being mean to me today. I, she told me that I was I, annoying and she I didn't did. like me. I said you looked homeless. Also that I was ugly and homeless, so. I never said the word ugly. It you was said, implied. No. no. Yes. And now I've had to make her come outside because So she's just got, so you know, my self-esteem is going really she's got well. She's cabin fever. Yeah. And she's pacing and sulking. I'm not sulking. And, I'm sulking because you called me ugly and, and told me to go away. I did tell you to go away in a roundabout way. <laughs> I think it was, oh, Jan. <laughs> no, I was... Sitting on me. <laughs> I was sitting on her and she went, oh, oh, Jan, please leave. Did I oh. say please leave? Oh, please leave. Did I say please leave? You said go back upstairs. I, did I? Yes. Oh, Do you know me. what's ironic? The what's entire ironic? time, she goes, get out of your bed. Why are you in your bed? Stop being in your bed. And then when I come out of my bed, she goes, go back to your bed. Because she sits on me. Because I just want love and affection. You're love and affection. You sat on me twice today. Because I have no friends to sit on. What are we doing? We are going to the bulk food store. And to leave. To get brown sugar and so I can make an apple crisp and that goes in the banana bread too. Go ahead say it. And to leave. And then we have to go and get milk and, to leave. and whipped cream for the cheesecake that I have to make as well. I'm going to be baking a lot this weekend. And, um, and bread and an orange so I can make some chocolate orange muffins. To leave. <laughs> It's now Wednesday, 
around 2 30 and we just got back from Talese and I bought five more books so I have to go film a haul video but before that I figured I would do my reading update for the day so for all we could have been by T Carter I'm now 205 pages into it so I'm almost done I'm like 64 percent done I think Goodreads told me but again still really liking it she just told her like big secret to her friends and things are going down so probably gonna finish this today because I have nothing to do now so that's gonna happen after we uh film our video and then I started my new audiobook for the week and it's internment by Samira Ahmed. It follows a Muslim American named Layla and her family who are sent to an internment camp and it's basically like them trying to resist the government. I'm pretty far into it. I've been listening to it since I finished Girls of Paper and Fire yesterday and I'm at 218 and there's like 370 pages or something like that. It's a super difficult topic that I don't really know anything about because we don't have anything like this in Canada right now. I know that Americans are kind of going through what this is lately so you know it's scary to think about. I think it's a super important topic and it will probably shed a lot of light for a lot of people who aren't in America. Also people who are in America might be able to relate to it so so far I'm enjoying it. Probably going to get pretty close to finishing it today as well but I'm going to go film my haul video now. Look at my pasta. Look at her why, vomit. Why is she so finally vlogging again? Because people ask me to. Here but we you, are. But you... Ow. That was a knife. I want you all to know that I'm dying slowly. And this is goodbye. How do you feel about me dying? Are you talking to me? Yes. Can I have your room? My tummy hurts, people. I probably have food poisoning. I'm probably gonna no, die. No, you don't have food poisoning because it doesn't hit you that fast. And you were sweating in the car before we even went. I'm Good dying. try, though. We're You're probably dying. But, this is the know. end. So if you never do, see do this your video, dramatic, do your dramatic death scene. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, do it. Do it. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Ah. Death with a smile. Nice. <laughs> My tongue was hanging the wrong way. Yeah. Um, we're gonna go pick up a package. Don't know what the package is for me though, so it's probably a book. And then we're getting whipped cream and milk for mommy to make a cheesecake for Easter. No, so the milk is not to make the cheesecake. The milk is because my family guzzles milk. We just bought milk yesterday. I know, and we're already on the last bag. That's already. not me. That's Curtis. It's also me, because I like cereal. Yeah, right? And we drink milk at every meal. Right? Yes. Okay, bye! Okay. Okay, bye. I'm Package acquired. It's apparently from Random House, but I didn't order anything from Random House, so I don't know what it is. But we're going to try to open this one-handed. Don't you have your clippy thingy? Clippy thingy! Dun, dun, dun. Oh gosh, gotta take Corgi butt off. Forgot about him. There we go. Oh, oh no. <coughs> there we go. Look at that. Oh wow. Got the cat. Okay, ready. It's a different packaging compared to usual. Oh. Sent me this thing again. Oh, you already have it. No, they sent me the first and second one. This is oh. the third one. Oh, cool. Five Worlds, The Red Maze by Mark Siegel and Alexis Siegel. It's a graphic novel about these kids and then people go missing and shit happens. <laughs> and shit happens. Yes, this is the third book. So without spoiling, I can't. So read the first two and then you can read this one. Hey, did you like the first two? Uh, I think I gave them threes. For what they are. Yeah, they're cute for what they are. Yeah. But they're a middle grade graphic novel. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Random house. Appreciate y'all. Hello. So, I just had a job interview with Indigo, which is like the US version of Barnes and Noble. So, I applied to them this morning, and within like a couple hours, 
they asked me for a video interview. I am so bad at interviews and I failed so badly during it. So now I'm depressed and I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep. Um, but that's the update. I probably will not be hired, so... <laughs> but I guess I should do uh, my reading update for today. I uh, finished... Where is it? I finished This Bad Boy, All We Could Have Been by T. Carter. I'm giving it a 3 out of 5 stars. I really liked it at the beginning, and then it just kind of lost my interest, and I wasn't like a super ginormous fan of it, but it was still really good, so I'll have a review of this up shortly whenever I get around to it and stop being a miserable being. Then I am almost done internment. I'm on 330 of 377 or something like that, so maybe I'll just put this on and be sad, but that's what's going on now. <laughs> I hate my- Hello, it's now Friday at like 1.30. I'm still a mess from yesterday. <laughs> Things just got so much worse. I'm not getting into it, but my life is not great right now. So I figured I'd give y'all a little reading update. So, finished Internment by Samira Ahmed. I'm giving it a 3.5. I really enjoyed it, but I'm super bitter about something that happened in it. The ending really made me angry, but um, spoilers, so I can't tell you why. But yeah, I think it's like a super important topic and I think that it was really well done. So definitely check this out because it's released now. This is an arc of it, but it's released now. It's out. So y'all have no excuse not to read it. And then you guys saw in like a previous clip yesterday, at some point I opened this bad boy from Penguin Random House. So I'm about more than halfway done it. I'm on like page one, 172 of like 230 or something like that. So I'm almost done it. It's a graphic novel. So it's going by really quickly but I'm probably gonna finish this up in a couple of minutes once I'm done with this update. The last two books in the series I gave three out of five stars. This is another three out of five stars. Like it's nothing super duper special in my opinion. It's not like a check please. You know that I gave like a five out of five stars and it's a graphic novel which like I have a really hard time giving graphic novels high ratings. I really like reading graphic novels like I love the pictures and I just feel like this one isn't like one that I would highly highly recommend if that makes sense but it's not a bad story there's just not much of a story if that makes sense and then since I finished in Turnmint that was my audiobook and as you guys know we always got an audiobook and a physical book going so my next audiobook is Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake and everybody and their mother knows what this is about so I'm not gonna give you a synopsis but I'm only on page like 42 or something like that so I'm not super far into it. I've only met the Poisoner Queen and the um Animal Queen. I don't know what they're called. What's the Animal Queen? A naturalist. That's what I've met. I'm about to meet the Elemental Queen so I don't know which one's my favorite yet but I'm thinking probably the Animal one just because I want animal powers, you know? <laughs> but I don't really have an opinion of this book yet, but maybe I'll update you later. We'll see. It's now Saturday at 4.40. I just got home from work, so figured we would do our reading update for the day. I finished the Five Maze World, whatever that graphic novel was. I'm not gonna go get it. It's in like my pile of finished books on the floor and I'm lazy. But I ended up giving it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. It was decent for what it was, but again, nothing out of this world. So that's what we're going with. I got a bigger chunk of Three Dark Crowns done this morning. I'm on page 172. I still cannot decide which queen I like the best. I'm thinking the Poisoner Queen, but she's kind of pissing me off. She has like this new love interest and I don't like him and she's just like a sniveling idiot around him. So I changed my mind. I don't like her the best. The Elemental Queen I like because she like doesn't want to kill her sisters and she's like, I want them all to be my friends and like relatable. But then I also like Arsene, Arsene, I can't say her name, but the Naturalist Queen, I also really like her still because like, I just want to be a naturalist so I think it's between the naturalist and the elemental. The poisoner queen's out. I changed my mind. She doesn't exist to me. The plan for today is get more of this done and 
that's pretty much it. I don't really have plans for tonight at all, so reading will commence. Hi! So it's Sunday. Work today was so stupid. We have this like big ice machine in our back kitchen and yesterday it was leaking so I put like a bucket under it so that it would catch all the water and I was like it's not leaking that much it'll be fine we're good so I come back this morning and it's like the buckets full to the top so I'm like okay we're gonna turn this off because there's no way that it's gonna survive you know Sunday the whole day and then Monday it's Easter Monday so you know there's gonna be nobody here for the entire day. So it's gonna overflow and there's gonna be water everywhere when people get back. We're gonna turn off the ice machine and then I realized because I turned off the ice machine, all the ice that is in this big ass machine is gonna melt and just be a puddle of water in this ice machine, which will probably end up leaking anyways because knowing my luck, that's what's gonna happen. So I'm like, all right, Kyle, who is the one PFM that I'm working with, I'm like, we're gonna empty this entire thing. So we spent the entire morning from 8.30 to 12.45 emptying this giant ass ice machine and then my nail broke and I'm really mad about it because it really hurt we had to wear like plastic gloves because the ice machine was like the way that it was like leaking the coolant that like freezes whatever was like leaking into the ice so like it was literally just like pellets of chemicals that's what it was making so I'm like, okay, we're gonna put gloves on because I touched it and it like burned my hand and I was like, <laughs> great, so we wore gloves. And then I'm like shifting the ice, trying to get it out like to go into the bins that we were using to fill it up so that we could put it in a different bin so that we could drag it outside. Like doing that and then all I feel is this like sharp ass pain in my finger and I'm like, my nail just flew off, like I can tell. So I take my hand out of the glove and it's literally like hanging off the side. I will insert that video, but I was very upset, but now my fingernail's fucked. This bullshit is broken. And therefore we have to empty all that ice into those containers into here <laughs> to put so away. Funny. And I'm mad because it's leaking into that bucket. Oh. <laughs> and this is literally gonna take us all day though. You're doing amazing, sweetie. <laughs> Look at this bullshit! I'll pull it off right now. No, don't touch I'll me. I'll pull it off right it's now. Not. And it's Easter today. Um, I have to go home and get ready to go to Ricardo's house for their Easter celebration. And then we're leaving his house to go to my aunt's house. And it's just like a lot of celebration today. And I don't feel like celebrating because my damn fingernail is gone. And Jimmy, my nail guy, is in Jamaica right now. So I don't get to see him until the 29th. So I'm going to have a fucked up set of nails for like a week. It's great. Love life. Bye. No. Okay. How does it feel to be a loser? You lost first. Yeah, but you just lost on the first round. You lost first. Yeah, but that was the last round? We don't need to talk about this. This is loser. literally one hit and he sunk the eight. You know what? I win. Rematch. <laughs> How's it feel to lose again? Twice in a row. That's like this really the first good at ball. This game. The first ball that sinks. <laughs> Let's do this again. Rematch. This is my favorite part <laughs> of Easter. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs>